Today we're doing Philadelphia soft pretzels. Look how good these look. If you're interested in this recipe, you can see it at the end of the video. Hi, welcome back to the Nono Giorgio and Rory cooking Italian for weight loss. Even if you don't want to lose weight because you're skinny, these are good recipes, good Italian recipes and others. Today, we're going to make one of my favorites growing up as a kid. Not Italian. Not Italian. <laughs> Philadelphia soft pretzels. He has been Yum. dying for these, so we're finally going to try to make them. We're going to. We're going to make them. We're going to make them. Okay, so we've got three cups of flour. We've got half a tablespoon of brown, brown sugar. Brown sugar. And one tablespoon butter. Butter. And a half a tablespoon of yeast. Uh, one and three quarter teaspoons of, of salt. Of salt. And warm some, water. Some warm water. And one we're gonna we're gonna mix uh, the dry ingredients in, and then put the water in, and we're gonna do it in the beast. Yes. Ready with um, the paddle attachment. And we're gonna put in the flour. We're gonna put all the dry ingredients in, including the butter. So you have the, um, the flour, the brown sugar, and the yeast in there, right? We're putting no, it in I'm, now. Now I'm gonna put okay. the brown sugar in. Right, brown sugar, and then the butter. butter. And then the yeast. All right. And then the salt. Okay. All right. And so now you're gonna just stir um, a little bit. I'm put it on low and mix the ingredients. Okay, now you need to pour um, a uh, one cup of warm water. So I think it's mixed. Up. Now we're adding one cup of warm water uh, to make the paste with the dough. And okay, we're just going to wait for the liquids to pick up all the dry ingredients and make it into a, a ball. We changed the paddle to the bread hook. And we're going to put that on low. And this is going to go for nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. So it's a really long time. But you have to do this to uh, develop the gluten in the flour. And if you look at the dough, you can see, you know, it's starting. There's still flour at the bottom. At the end of the nine minutes, that should be a ball up on the bread hook and all the flour should be picked up. Okay, the dough's out of the beast. And I'm doing like we do with our bread recipes, just kind of like making a ball by folding the sides down and under. Now, you're supposed to cut this into eight pieces. So I think the easiest is to cut in half That looks so nice and elastic, doesn't it? That dough. So now we've got four pieces. Eight pieces. And we're going to make And if some of these feel a little different size, we can we can come back and take a little dough off. So this one looks a little large to me. <laughs> Modification. <laughs> And this one looks a little large. I 
think they look they, pretty good. They do. So now cover it with the um, uh, plastic wrap and we're going to let the uh, bowl sit for 30 minutes. Please like our video by checking the little thumbs up. That way you let us know you enjoyed it. Please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, then the bell, and all. This will ensure that you get all of our new videos. Volume 2 of our cookbook with 54 new recipes is available from Amazon as a color paperback or an ebook. Okay, so our pretzels, you, you want to roll these down into a long snake like. Stretch them out a little bit. That's better. That was too slippery. Stone is a good thing to roll on. Yeah. I love this stone tabletop on our island. We can put hot pots on it and it never gets damaged with knives. You have to be able to fold it in eights though. Woo! <laughs> Let's see. And you put the um, pinch side down so that it doesn't come undone. And then we're going to let these sit for an hour and um, that'll proof them. So we'll do one more and then we'll come back when I have these done. All right, so if you just fold, I like to pinch the end first and then pinch it in. Flip it over. And Philadelphia pretzels are long. They're not a normal pretzel shape. The traditional ones. Today it's hard to find good Philadelphia pretzels, even in Philadelphia. The, um, the cheap chain stores are selling their versions with a lot of sugar in them and icing on them and just not a Philadelphia pretzel. All right, baby. Okay, so we brought uh, water to boil, put baking soda in it, stirred it until it was completely dissolved, and then moved it off to heat. And we're putting two pretzels at a time in, one minute on each side in the bath, and then they go back onto uh, our paper here and into the oven. They turn pretty easy. The dough sticks together. Um, I don't think you'll have any problem flipping them. They're not, they're not that flimsy. So we do the eight this way, one minute on each side, put them back on the parchment paper, and they go in the oven, and the oven's at? Uh, 425, and just before four. we put them in the oven, we do um, egg wash, I guess to make them shiny. Is that what that's for? And the salt goes No, on. it's to hold the salt. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay. That's it. Oh, 13 minutes. I'm so excited. Philadelphia soft pretzels. <laughs> A dream come true. <laughs> right? All right. So we have the white of an egg. And we're just painting each one. Now, you're supposed to use coarse sea salt. We don't have that today. So we're using regular sea salt. So they're, they're not going to be exactly perfect, but that's okay. You sometimes have to cook with what you have. Just 
sprinkle the salt. And then we're gonna have the favorite part of the show, the tasting. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and since we're- Can't wait. The video after this one is potato leek soup. So, let me put 13 on here. And um, so we're gonna have our tastings back to back. We'll All have right. A little soup and Philly soft pretzels. Sounds delicious. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, here they are. This look beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I can't believe how gorgeous they turned out. <laughs> well, we're at the tasting. And uh, we'll have, there's a picture of this in the video. The pretzels look good. Yeah. I happen to be a mustard fan. I think Rory is too. Yeah, a and little bit. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Oh, this looks fabulous. All right. I'm afraid it's cut. Mm. <laughs> they are good. Good. All right. I'm afraid I'm going to burn myself. Just like the Philly pretzels. Are they? They're crunchy mm -hmm. on the outside, chewy on the inside. Mm -hmm. The flavor is wonderful. Yeah. Try them. These were very successful. I'm glad we made them. <laughs> so if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, follow us. And we have a new cookbook, volume two coming out and it's got 54 recipes in it yeah. and you're gonna enjoy them. Yeah. So uh, for now, ciao and arrivederci. Have fun cooking, happy Bye -bye. holidays. Here's the recipe. You can pause the video to copy down the recipe or it's in the notes below the video on YouTube. We hope you have enjoyed our channel. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you get notified of new videos when they come out.